You know you're in for a great video today because this is a day or video, meaning do at your own risk. So you know what they say, don't do this at home, don't do this at work, don't do it in your car, don't do this at an amusement park, a submarine, a boat, and air. Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kydarmy. So just like me, I bet you've amassed a number of these lithium batteries to power your tools. Now we all know that these lithium batteries can go bad and no longer be able to be charged and that means this battery's Garbijo. So today we're going to talk about this technique that I read in Popular Mechanics. It talks about a way to jumpstart this battery just like you would a car and bring it back from the dead. Let's give it a try. So before we jump into the video, I want to talk to you about what you can do to ensure that your battery will never go dead. Ready? Here it is. Drum roll, please. Make sure you store your battery charged. It's that simple. So this is the worst case scenario. This is what you want to avoid. Say you use this battery on a blower and you run it dead at the end of the fall season and you put it away for six months. Well, that means the voltage in this battery is going to drop below the nominal voltage and possibly when you put it on the charger, the charger will report an error and will not charge the battery. So long story short, make sure you store your batteries charged. That's all there is. Now the good thing about this hack is it does not require a lot of special tools. It's actually very simple, but there is one thing that you have to have in order for this to happen, and that is you need identical voltage batteries. Here I have a works knockoff battery that happens to be the dead battery, so no feelings are gonna get hurt here. This is a 20 volt four amp hour battery, and the battery that I'm gonna use to jumpstart it is right here. This is a works 20 volt two amp hour battery, so the voltage matters, the amp hours doesn't matter that much. So the next thing you're gonna need for this hack is a decent voltmeter. That way you can test the voltage of the batteries. So the last thing you need is a short piece of wire. This is 14 gauge household wire. That will work fine. In fact, I actually prefer this and I'll show you why in a minute. So here's the battery I'm actually having problems with. This is a works 20 volt, four amp hour knockoff battery. And you'll see what happens when I put it into my works pressure washer. By the way, one of my favorite tools. It still runs the tool. Now the problem is not powering the tool. The problem is when I get my charger and I put the battery into the charger, you're gonna see there's a red blinking light. That red blinking light means the battery is not charging. It doesn't matter how long you wait, one week, a month, a year, it still will not charge. So we have to fix this battery so that it will charge and function as it should. So the first thing you have to do is you have to measure the voltage on the functioning battery and the faulty battery. But before we do that, we have to identify the negative terminal right here and the positive terminal. When I figure out which one's which, I just mark it with a Sharpie. So for the next step of this hack, we're gonna actually make our jumper cable. I'm using a piece of 14 gauge household wire. What you have to do is you have to remove the white wire and the black wire, the rest of it becomes junk. This is what we need for the hack. Now that we've got our wires removed from the insulation, what we need to do is strip the wire so about an inch of copper is exposed on both sides. So the next step is to take your wire and put it on something really solid and with a hammer, shape the end of the wire until it's nice and flat. Now do that to both sides on both pieces of wire. That looks perfect. So for the next step, we're gonna measure the voltage of each battery, the bad battery and the good battery. We're gonna start with the good battery so that we have a baseline voltage. Now, these little terminals I made will come in handy right now. Let's plug them into the battery just like that. And because they're flat, they'll go right into those contacts and hold in there really nicely. Now let's put our white cable in here to this side. That's the negative side. So we're gonna do this actually opposite. Red's gonna go to black here and black's gonna go to white. And you should see that we're measuring our voltage. The good battery is measuring around 20.2 volts. So that is right within spec. Now let's measure our bad battery. So all I'm going to do here is remove these terminals. The black's going to go into the positive here. And the white will go into the negative. And you can see here our voltage is much lower. It's 15.35 volts. And that low voltage is the exact reason why this battery won't function and charge. So let's see if we can jumpstart this battery and bring its voltage up to near 20 volts. Here we go. What you're going to do is we're going to connect the white side of the battery to the other white side of the battery. And then we're going to take the black side of the battery with the black wire to the black 
label on the dead battery here. This is, okay, trying to drift away here. And then what we do is we wait for a few minutes. All right, now that we've waited about a minute, let's disconnect the battery and take a look at our voltage and see where we're at here. Look, we've already brought it up to 17 volts, so that might actually be enough to now charge this battery and bring it back to life. Let's try it. So now that this battery is measuring about 17 volts, let's put it on the charger and see if the charger will work. Green light, guys. This battery is now being jump-started and it's charging. We should be good to go. That was an absolute success. All right, guys, well, a few hours has passed by. I've had my battery on the charger, and this is what we're seeing, guys. This is a solid green light, which means this battery is fully charged. That's really exciting, but let's see how much power this battery has. All right, guys, so I think you remember the hydro shot. Let's see how we're doing here. That sounds good. All right, guys, well, this was a smashing success. Do I think this will work in every scenario? Definitely not, but in a last ditch effort, it's definitely worth trying to jumpstart your battery. The thing I want you to remember is positive to positive, negative to negative. If you do that, you shouldn't have any problem. Now that I've got your battery jump started, let's go and check out some of my favorite tools. I'll meet you guys right over there. Let's go. See you there.